Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting learning bite. Today we will discuss IAAA. If you have watched my last video, we discuss about CIA triad that stands for confidentiality, integrity and availability. In continuation to that, today we will discuss the concept of AAA that stands for authentication, authorization and accountability. We will also understand what is an identity. So, so let's deep dive. Before we jump into the concept, we have to understand what is a subject and an object. So subject is no longer a person. It can be a process or a system. An object is receiver of an action, which generally is a resource. To give you an example, you are a subject and your house is an object. So your action will be if you want to enter to your house. An identity will be something you say we are. An authentication, on the other hand, is claiming your identity. How we will do it? It will be using something you know, or something you have, or something you are. We have few more slides coming, uh, so let's hold on to that for now and move to the next concept of authorization. So authorization is right of a subject holding an identity on an object. So if you are an owner of the house, you can enter all the rooms, but your friends have limited access. In case of a system, if you have access to a file, you have a read, write, modify permission, but your co-workers only have read only. Accountability, on other hand, is useful for non-repudiation. That means you cannot deny your actions. Let me take you to the next section and elaborate more about all of these. So IAAA in a nutshell. So as we mentioned about subject, example users that might need access to an object, example databases, files, or folders, or emails. Or I give you a real uh, time example. Let's say you want to access a website and a website doesn't know on what basis they provide you access. Your email address will be your identity that system understand as you used at the time of registration. And there are different level of identity that has provided and they are categorized into different levels from one to four. So level one will be an email address. A level two can be a mobile phone. It can also include a credit card as a level three and a level four can be a government identity. So providing an email address is, is something we say who we are. Once identified, we need to authenticate and prove our identity. You put a password or a pin that is something you know. A website might also ask you to input a pin using a soft token. That is something you have. It might also ask you to provide with a fingerprint using a digital reader. That is something you are, your biometric. Post that you have authorization which section of website you can access and rights like read, write, modify and delete. All these actions are logged and they are auditable to prove that you logged into the system and the actions you have carried. So in a nutshell, these are some of the security principles and that they fall under identity and access management. So next time you try to access your social media content or a banking website or try to remember uh, these security principles, how they are used, how they work in a real life. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks again for taking time. If you like the video, please share, subscribe to my channel and appreciate. Thanks again.